In this activity, we will evaluate the given expression in two ways. We will first evaluate the expression using the order of operations by simplifying inside the parentheses first. Then we will evaluate the expression by first applying the distributive property. The first expression is five times the quantity three plus four. Using the order of operations, we determine the sum inside the parentheses first. Three plus four is seven. This simplifies to five times seven which equals 35. Looking at the same expression again, we will now first distribute. We can clear the parentheses by distributing the five, which gives us five times three plus five times four. Five times three is equal to 15, five times four is equal to 20, 15 plus 20 equals 35. In each case, we should get the same value for the expression using the order of operations or the distributive property. For b, we have three times the quantity seven minus five. Simplifying using the order of operations, we simplify inside the parentheses. Seven minus five is two. This simplifies to three times two, which equals six. Looking at the same expression again, we will distribute the three to clear the parentheses which gives us three times seven minus three times five. Three times seven is 21. Three times five is 15. 21 minus 15 is six. For C, we have negative four times the quantity five plus two. Following the order of operations, we simplify inside the parentheses. Five plus two is seven. This simplifies to negative four times seven, which equals negative 28. And now we will evaluate the expression by distributing first. We distribute negative four. Because we are distributing a negative, I'll write the negative four in parentheses. This is equal to negative four times five plus negative four times two. Negative four times five is negative 20 plus Negative four times two is negative eight. Negative 20 plus negative eight is negative 28. The last expression can be a little more challenging. We will take a look at this two ways. We are given the opposite of the quantity three minus seven, but this expression is equivalent to negative one times the quantity three minus seven. Let's take a look at this both ways. Let's first treat this as the opposite of the quantity three minus seven. Following the order of operations, simplifying inside the parentheses, three minus seven is negative four. This is equal to the opposite of negative four, or if we want negative negative four, which equals positive four. We can also think of distributing the negative. If we distribute the negative, it's going to change the sign of the three and the sign of the seven. So the opposite of positive three is negative three. So we have negative three minus the opposite of positive seven is negative seven. And negative three minus negative seven is equivalent to negative three plus seven, which equals positive four. Now let's go back and do this again and treat this expression as the equivalent expression, negative one times the quantity three minus seven, which I think is much easier to follow. We treat the expression as negative one times the quantity three minus seven. Simplifying inside the parentheses, three minus seven is negative four, giving us negative one times negative four, which equals positive four. Distributing, to clear the parentheses, we distribute negative one, which gives us negative one times three minus negative one times seven. Negative one times three is negative three, and then we have minus negative one times seven, which is minus negative seven, which is equivalent to plus seven. Negative three plus seven is positive four. I hope you found this helpful.